Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to go about this video. Primarily because I'm talking about how Season End could be the very end of Fortnite as we know it. Whether it be the very end of the map or the game entirely, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening right now with the Fortnite storyline and I need to tell you guys exactly what is going on. No matter what you like about Fortnite, everything about it could very much so change here and it is not up to us any which way it's all up 100 to epic games if you guys don't want fortnite to end make sure you guys drop a like on today's video and hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on and comment down below what do you guys think about fortnite currently do you want to end do you want to change just let me know also if you guys didn't know code chuck for g fuel is 30 percent off now through july 1st so go ahead check it out link in the video description to get yourself 30 percent off so if you guys are avid players of fortnite avid watchers or just anything else with the sort you guys know that it's been kind of hard to miss the fact that the map has just been getting stomped all over by the monster that was in polar peak you guys know that polar peak came out it crashed down and all of a sudden there was a monster that's roaming around with gigantic footprints absolutely everywhere on the map and he's been crushing or it whatever it may be has been crushing a whole bunch of buildings and kind of has been really messing up everything it's been messing up everything from loot lake to snobby shores to footprints all around in between it's just been destroyed Destroying absolutely everything. I'm sure all you guys know that because I mean, especially for me, I'm a Pleasant Park dropper. I mean, that is my favorite spot currently in the map and it has taken out one of my buildings, AKA the modern building that was on the end of Pleasant Park. So the question actually remains to be is that because we've had this giant monster going around, I mean, what is it going to do? Because that thing isn't just going to somehow disappear. It's not just gonna, you know, vanish into thin air and then boom, we're gonna have, you know, season 10 Fortnite Battle Royale. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen but there has been a crazy amount of stuff happening and specifically with one portion of the map that has actually stayed largely unchanged throughout the entirety of season nine which is actually going to be pressure plant you guys know pressure plant has actually been you know a portion of the volcano it just got thrown in there going into season nine so it's actually a really cool area and it's actually not too bad of a drop spot but what you guys actually need to know is the fact that pressure plant in the last 24 to 48 hours has been officially changed and it just kind of came out of nowhere and has left a lot of people wondering what is really going to happen. Something that's actually incredibly, incredibly interesting is that if you guys go over it there, there's actually ways you guys can get into creative mode and see what is actually happening. It's funny enough, Fortnite actually likes to throw stuff, you know, into the creative mode and you can glitch from the creative mode island all the way over to the battle royale island and see stuff that actually hasn't quite happened in the regular battle royale mode. So we're going to be checking that out. Something that's even more important is you guys know that we have our season nine basically you know the visitor skin of season nine the whole weekly challenger skin and you know a lot of people are kind of kind of wondering you know what's been happening with that and how does that play into the storyline i'm here to tell you guys that there actually has been a sighting of one of the helmets that the character would actually wear over at pressure plant so actually thus placing a little bit of emphasis on the storyline and what's happening over at pressure plant and you guys can see here right in my actual menu screen that this is you know the singularity skin i haven't really been completing any of my fort by challenges so don't don't really mind that but you guys can see that this is actually one of the first times in fortnite that they've actually ever revealed this skin or like the weekly challenge skin to us actually before it really has come out i'm not exactly sure why that is but we have this skin obviously and it's green but you guys may have seen you know the previous you know helmet and you guys see like this one right here is red but that helmet that was actually found over at pressure plant is actually like pink and white and everything of the sort it's basically not any of the colors that would go with this girl right now but do not fear this all does make Makes sense. You guys remember back around a couple weeks ago, we got the gigantic patch that threw in all the different items, cosmetics, and everything that's actually right coming out now in the 14 days of summer event that's currently happening in Fortnite. So within that patch update, we got a ton, a ton of stuff, and we actually ended up finding singularity skin styles. So not only do we have a weekly challenges or a fort by challenges type of skin that has actually been revealed to us, we do have a total of roughly around at least six or seven plus different styles for the skin so one of those styles actually does add up and actually was in the leaked files and that is one of the helmets that is indeed over at pressure plant where the rest of the styles and rest of the helmets could potentially be found if that is even indeed a thing we don't exactly know but what we need to do is we need to hop straight into creative mode because we need to check out what is happening with pressure plant and what is something that you guys cannot see right now if you go into the battle royale mode i'm not really sure why it's still a thing to the point where you can actually get over from your island 
all the way over to here within creative i guess they really haven't patched that yet but regardless you guys know we are on top of the mountain i just don't want to show you guys the bunker just yet but as you guys know talking about pressure plant and actually them adding a secret bunker to it a lot of people have been questioning what's been going on and i got a few things to be able to show you guys so boys here is the official reveal of the bunker basically this giant thing used to be flat it used to have a whole bunch of different structures and everything in it and unfortunately or just unfortunately depending on how you look at it everything got changed it's got like a giant bunch of fans we got levels b3 we got b2 and then we have levels b1 over there so i'm not exactly sure if this is going to be something that's going to be happening on a weekly to bi-weekly basis or even a daily basis that could be changing but you guys know this isn't in battle royale right now something even more interesting as you guys can see this little logo right here on the door this has largely been known as like the fortnite like government logo i'm gonna close the door here real quick but this has been known much less as the fortnite government logo and has kind of been around since roughly around season four to season five it's been here ever since there was even a fortnite storyline in general but as you guys can see going in right here you know this is the thing where close the door this is what you'd classify as the control room right here within Fortnite. I mean, this whole thing right here, this is the control room for the entirety of this bunker. And I don't know exactly what's gonna be in it, what's gonna be coming out of it, but only one can speculate and there's even more I need to show you. So if we're just looking around here at the controls, it may not seem like there's really anything important on here at all. I mean, there really is anything too important until you get a little bit closer you can actually see that there is indeed little notes right here. You can't see them very good on this side, but you can see them over here, and it is actual writing. There's like a little smiley face and everything, but what is this up top? If we zoom in right there, this is actually a rocket. This is a rocket launch that is indeed going to be happening. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but harnessing the power of a volcano and using it and everything to make this giant, giant thing right here, this giant bunker, potentially is there gonna be a rocket somewhere down in there? Who even knows? But with so much crazy stuff happening here at the bunker, there being a rocket thing right there, and we have in this entire monster basically run havoc through the map, taking out some of my beloved Pleasant Park. What is it right over there on that side of the map coming out of the giant mountain who knows if those were the dragon eggs from the past season i'm not exactly sure but only one could really guess right about that and you know it actually being spotted way out there in the ocean on the far far side we're not exactly sure what's gonna happen but if we know that there is indeed a missile launch right there like a drawing frame missile launch within this bunker it only seems fitting that we do have this little area right here that could launch a missile it is the perfect place for it then what is the perfect thing to stop a monster from full destroying the rest of the map. I personally think a missile is a pretty good way to be able to stop, you know, a giant monster from destroying everything else, but you may ask yourself, what happens when that missile goes and takes out the monster? It's gonna have a gigantic blast radius. If that giant monster is carrying portions of Polar Peak on its back, it's gonna have to be taken out by some gigantic blast. And with it being a gigantic blast, whatever is going to be near it, whether it be water or land or anything else like that, is going to get blown to smithereens as well. So no matter if it's out in the ocean, there could potentially be a gigantic tsunami that comes through and wipes out a whole bunch of portions of the map or even potentially destroys the entire map or if it's somewhere else important maybe just you know the missile actually misses the monster and he's you know runs rampant through the map and it destroys portions of the map and this could be the end of the fortnite battle royale map as we know it is season 10 going to take a drastic turn for the worse is the a giant missile going to go destroy the monster out there what is going to be happening well, I guess really only time is going to tell who even knows what's going to happen, but I'm very, very interested to see what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. So if you guys haven't enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash a thumbs up on it, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications, comment down below what you guys think about everything I've talked about here in today's video. With that being said, my name is Chuck. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope to see you on the channel in the future, but until next time, show on Triple Cap, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.
Thing with a rock with a duet, go, wait Swag out from the flow, name, name real quick Hit that elbow and hit that Super Mario Lean with a rock with a duet, go, wait 